Hello everyone and welcome back to The Last of Us Remastered on PS4. Okay, in this part we're still in the sewers, hopefully going to make an exit soon. I'm still trying to find um, Henry's group that he's been, left, been separated from. We've left behind quite a lot of um, infected back there and there's a few stories we've read. A few people's notes telling us a bit of dark stories of what's happened there suffer. So we're going to hopefully find an exit through this doorway here. Yeah, I'm cool. That was me. I must have triggered some kind of safety gate or something. Henry, see if we can lift this. So, this is awkward. Yeah, I know. It's like every time. Clickers! No. What? Hey, this thing isn't budging, man. Just go. Get out of here. Sam, you stay close to him. Henry, we gotta fucking move! You keep him safe! Go! Holy shit. How many clickers was that? Like five or six? So they're gonna they're making a run for it. You're gonna be fine. Yeah, yeah, I know. Alright, come on, kid. See if we can find a way out of here, yeah. There's bound to be some clickers on this side as well. Some materials that we can pick up. Did you see that? Stay behind me. If I run, you run. Yeah. So we've got to find the exit through here. We've got some affected. Spot being spotted. Throw a pick at this one. One past it. I'm gonna make a run for it now. I know where to go because obviously I've done this before. But I'm not sure what the what it's like on this difficulty. Shit! Whoa! I didn't kill that. That was so lucky to not die there. I think it's time to get the shotgun out. Shit, where's Henry? No, Sam. Sam? There he is. So we still got this clicker chasing us. We got two clickers. Took that one out. Let's get the shotgun shot on this one. Hopefully kill it in one shot. Nice. Had to make them shots count. So we got some ammo dropped off these guys. Probably because they were soldiers. Okay, we got another one coming at us. Okay, let's see if we can... Shit, there's one more there. Is that a clicker? I'm just going to shoot it anyway. Okay, so let's get Sam up here. Infected. Ship. Whoa! I jumped out my skin a little bit there. Can we go switch, switch weapons quickly? Make sure we got ammo. Can we get up Sam? I think we can still hear infected in the background, but we gotta quickly try and escape before they get too close. I think it's right on my tail actually, I can hear it. So Sam's dropped down a ladder there for us. Let's get out of here. I don't think infected can climb ladders. Shit. Just run. Okay, he's right there. There's too many. Close the door. Whew. Ellie, get away from the door. Maybe we'll push it together. Need to open this. There's a there's a metal pipe blocking the gate here. Damn! He just crawled through. He what? Stop! What the hell are you doing? Can't stop. Well, hurry up then. Alright, go. Are we going this way? I'm going to quickly make a Molotov cocktail because it's going to be coming handy ahead, I think. With the amount of, inf of infected that are in this um, sewers. Oh shit, there's another Molotov on the table. Okay, so we got two Molotovs to use. We haven't got a whole lot of um, actual bullets to use. We need to get out of this door. Damn thing stuck! Here, give me a boost. I can get through that window. 
Hurry up. Open it from the other side. Make it fast. Come on, Sam. You're not staying in here. What about you? I'll be fine. Come on. Go. So hopefully they'll find a way to open the door from the outside. Get ready. All right, so we got a bunch of um infected coming through here. I'm gonna throw a Molotov here. Hopefully the clicker will get burnt as well. No, it didn't. Oh, actually, it is burning. We've got another clicker. That's also burning. All right, if Henry stays next to me here, we should be okay. Where's he going? Okay. So we got some more clickers there. Go around to the right. We're gonna throw a, a Molotov there. Hopefully, get the clickers. Because they're the most dangerous of enemies. Got this guy running towards us. Headshot, nice. Get the clicker with the aim. Um, the bat. Take this guy out as well. Shit, there's Ellie. Okay, we need to get out of here right now. Let's go. Go, go. So we took a few sh a few hits there. Fresh air. Look at this. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Thanks for the warning on the other side, guys. So where's this tower? We're close. Come on, let's go. Those Molotovs definitely helped us a lot there. How you doing, little man? That was a close one, huh? <laughs> yeah. Not one of our finest things, so we made it out. So it looks like we're safe again for a short amount of time, hopefully. So how are we doing for ammo? Hey, look at that! Yep, what I tell you, huh? Let's find a way around to it. What about you? How you holding up? Business as usual, right? When I was with Henry, I took out a couple of infected by myself. You'd be proud. Yeah. Okay, so we're not doing too great for health at the moment. Joel's holding his ribs once again. So hopefully we'll be able to check around these houses and find some um, health packs maybe or even just health bars to help us recover a bit better for the next battle. It looks like there's nothing in this basement. What was this place like without infected? Can you Check out the upstairs. There's a drawer. It's got some pills. Yeah, so if we can actually upgrade our health with the pills, I'm hoping it will actually heal us to full health as well. So if we find some more pills. Um, oh, actually we've got enough. So I'm going to actually do this and hope that it will give me maximum health. I mean, fill up my health as well as giving me increased. So Joel is not h h holding his ribs anymore. So that could be a sign that we are fully healed now, with increased health as well. We've got a note here. A looting note. It's a long note. From Kyle. That's the guy that was inside, wasn't it? Another night, another shooting. I could see the muzzle flashes coming from the Carson's windows. I stayed up the entire night with the whole family in one room. I doubt anybody got any sleep. It's only a matter of time before the looters try to break into our house. We have to get out of here. That skinny man approached us again. He traded some of his bullets for some of our food. He offered us to offered us to join him in his hideout. He says it's secure and more importantly hidden. Easily defendable is not is how he described it. He said that the only reason he trusts me is because I have kids. I don't think we can start here start stay here anymore. He seems like a trustworthy guy. I'm going to suggest to everyone tomorrow that we take him up on his offer. So that's Kyle. That's the guy we found inside the sewers with the kids. The dead kids. So I'm guessing that the skinny guy he's talking about is Ish. That asked him to come join him in the sewers. And that didn't go too well. 
So let's check the rest of these rooms. So we've only really got one upgrade left to do on the attributes that's worthwhile doing, and that's going to be weapon sway. Weapon sway. The other ones we can really not worry about too much. We obviously will upgrade them if we get pills for it after we've done weapon sway, but it's not much of a concern. Can we, can we check this house next door? No, we can't. All right, so let's go to the next house. You've really got to make sure to check all these houses, especially on this difficulty. I think we can check inside here. What's this say? I have a gun. You loot. I shoot. We'll shoot to kill. How did this wall fall down? I was just five when the cordyceps hit. My memory's pretty hazy, but I remember living in a neighborhood just like this. What do you remember? Uh, barbecues. Parents, they would throw these crazy big barbecues and invite a ton of people. You know, I remember the smell more than anything. Weird. Yeah, you forget this guy. So he must be like, I think he said he was five when it hit. So he must have been 20, he must be 25 now because it's 25 years later. Keep, I keep forgetting how long this is, the world's been like this. Obviously because you start the game before the the pandemic. What's that sign say? I'm armed, no trespassing, we'll shoot on sight. We'll shoot on sight. Lots of friendly people lived here. First few months after the outbreak, they had a lot of looting. Everyone got paranoid. You remember any of that, Joel? What's that? Yeah, everyone barricaded themselves in their homes. And supplies started running low. That's when you saw what people are really capable of. Alright, so we've checked all the houses up this hill. I'm gonna go back down here now. Well, not back down. I'm gonna actually continue down this way. Yeah, you're gonna want to stay away from those. It's not like it is in the zone. These are wild. So they got some dogs in the distance over there. Playing with each other. I'm gonna keep my distance. What is this? Oh, this is an ice cream truck. An ice cream truck? Yeah, Henry told me about these. They sell ice cream out of the truck. What? No way, Joel. That's true. This thing would drive around and play real loud, creepy music, and kids would come running out to buy ice cream. You're totally fucking with me. Mm mm, serious. <laughs> Man, you lived in a strange time. <laughs> told you so. Alright, so we've got a um, crafting table here. Let's quickly check out what's worth upgrading. So, maybe it's only going to be worth upgrading things that affect the shot of the weapon, not so much the amount of shots you can take with reload speed, fire rates, and capacity, because we're never full on ammo on a weapon, so we need, there's no, never a need to reload, apart from if you pick up ammo mid-fight and need to load your gun. And um, <laughs> I upgraded the bow quite a bit because the range and draw speed are definitely things to improve accuracy with the bow. But the lack of, I've got no arrows and I never have arrows. And when I do find them, I take one shot, kill a guy, and the arrow breaks. So still, it's not even really worth upgrading any weapons too much. So we can check inside this building, this house. Check the kitchen first. Looks like some weapon parts on the table. Maybe when we get more actual um, toolkits, we'll upgrade the the hunting rifle to have more power and armor penetration, and possibly the scope for it as well. Which could come in handy. We can't go that way. So let's jump back into this house we were just in. Let's check upstairs. Okay, you're in the way. I'll jump over this way instead. I think we can go upstairs in this house. Kind of like in this game as well, it's not all about um, shooting, progressing through the story. You all right? Yeah, sailing's falling apart. They actually make scavenging kind of like a fun thing with the conversations that I had while you're doing it. So I just pulled down that, um, that loft um, door. And I think you can boost Ellie up. Hey, 
watch yourself. You find anything? Here you go. So I have a training manual. Thank you. Melee weapons upgraded, modifications last two hits longer. It might be worthwhile modding up a melee weapon next chance we get. When we get some more blades. I'm not going to bother with making any more shivs to make them to open doors. Just because um, I'm not finding too much inside them anyway. You're guaranteed pretty much weapon parts and pills. But at this point in, in the game now, I don't really need too much of the pills or weapon parts. I've, I've upgraded what is important. So we've got a father's note here. Okay, so it's a note to Kara from her dad. You're the adult while I'm gone. Take care of your brother. He's looking f to you for protection now. I won't be gone for more than a few days to gather food and supplies. If for some reason I haven't returned after a week, take your brother and head to the Pittsburgh quarantine zone. Don't open the door to anyone but me. Save your bullets. If you have to leave, stay low and move quickly. Use your size to your advantage. I'll see you soon. Use your size to your advantage. Was she a giant? Or small, so she could get in small spaces. That's probably what it meant. <laughs> I thought he meant overpower the clickers and um, strangers with being big and strong, but he probably means you can fit into small spaces and hide. <laughs> Alright, so we're done in this house. We're going to go downstairs. I'm not seeing any dead bodies, really, with um, people that live in these houses. So there was definitely a girl sitting here or living here while her dad was out searching for supplies. Okay, the dogs are running away. Alright, so we've got another house here. This should be the last house we're checking out before we actually carry on and make our way towards the um, the radio tower. We can open a cupboard here next to the TV. Some pills. There's a cocktail siren over the kitchen. Some more weapon parts. Let's go upstairs. Actually, yeah, the bathroom's empty. Can't really see anything in there. So the only thing that's staying um, constant in the game, depending on what difficulty you play, the only constant thing is um, pills and weapon parts. They never change places where they are. It's just them um, health bars, health kits. Obviously, um, any materials to craft anything. And ammo. So we got another survivor's note here. One open door, that's all it took. One of us forgot to close the door and a horde of those monsters entered our camp. We shut them in there and wrote a warning on the outside. Susan and a couple of the kids are with me. As far as I know, we're the only survivors. I had to hold Susan so she wouldn't run back in there. Go back for the bodies. It's just too dangerous. She lost her children and I have no clue what to... What to say to her? Every part of me being just wants to give up. It'd be so easy to surrender to this world. I can't do that though. I have too much faith in humanity. I've seen that we're still capable of good. We can make it. I have to stay strong for her. So that's a letter from Ish. The guy that was writing letters inside the... Um, Early. The sewers. I think I found another one of them comics you've been reading. So, I'm not too sure where Ish ended up. I don't think we found his body yet. We found Kyle's body inside the sewers. But Ish, I'm not too sure. So we've got a combination. I mean, a safe there we need to find the combination for. Hopefully there will be some ammo inside. So we've got a note here. It's probably the combination code. There we go. It's written on the name. That matchbook. Okay, so there's nothing left to be... Oh, is that arrow? Nice little arrow. So rare to find those arrows. I, I was looking at, when I was editing one of my videos the other day, I noticed I had like six or seven arrows at one point in what, at a time. And I just don't know what happened to them. I just kind of, just careless with them and just shot them randomly. Didn't realise like how important they are. <laughs> I was using them when I wasn't even stealth and just to kill infected. Should have really reserved them for stealth sections. Hey Sam. Be careful. Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll go first. Yeah. Oh. Damn it. 
Alright, your turn. Okay. Does Ellie know what the arts what? is? Yeah. yeah, she doesn't know what it is. Boosh! I am a natural. Luck. No, it wasn't. I was luck. <laughs> Alright, get out of here. You're getting cocky. Here we go. Fuck! Horrible. Alright. That's a tie. Uh, no, no. You, you clearly got destroyed. How did I clearly get destroyed? That's practically a tie. <laughs> yeah, okay. Ellie's a bad sore loser. Let's have a go with this. Ellie's quite good for a girl who's never thrown a dart before. <laughs> I'll come a day where kids can just be kids again. Let's go. Yeah, so Joel's a bit rusty on his dart throwing game. You think he'd be alright with throwing darts? Because I'm throwing that many bricks, you know, and bottles at people. Molotovs. Must be a beginner's luck with Ellie and Sam. We've got a brick here. That's good. Fireflies were here. Yeah, by the looks of it. How are we gonna find them? I know a guy. A brother, actually. He, he was a firefly. Last I heard, he was in Wyoming. We get there, we find him. We find the fireflies. What do you say, you in? <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, man. Okay, so we definitely got a plan now. If we don't find the fireflies that um, Sam's looking, um, Henry's looking for. Okay, you guys are killing me with your daughter talk. It's joke book time. What is that? Just bear with me. You want to hear a joke about pizza? Never mind, it was too cheesy. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. What did the green grape say to the purple grape? Breathe, you idiot. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> um, I think we've got to go round back again to All this right. house. I got a joke for you. Let's hear it. Why can't your nose be 12 inches long? I don't know, why? Because <laughs> then it will be a foot. <laughs> that is so dumb. I love it. These are actually not bad jokes for the kids. Okay, so I think we can go through this build, this house now, and go out the back door. And I think that's where we gotta go next. Yeah, there's a little railing there, the yellow railing. We're gonna go through there and drop down. Before we do actually drop down, though, we're gonna end it here. Quickly check this shed. It looks like it's closed. Yeah, we're gonna end it here, and um, hopefully, see the tower is not too far now, so we should be able to get there pretty soon. Okay, everyone, we're going to end it here. See you in the next part. Bye.